We are just on the way back from having a swim. Um, Eddie and the, his dad, the guys who were all there, which was awesome. It's a huge privilege for us to have Big Eddie Hall up here in our little town up in the Highlands. It's really surreal to think that he's you know, made the effort to come up here and spend some time with us. And we're just going to go back to mine, um, where one of our friends, Ali, Ali Gordon, he's got a little food truck there. He's going to do some Scottish meat, Scottish game for us, have a relaxing couple of hours. And then we're going to go down to Codder to lift uh, the Bravarian stone which is pretty cool, so should be a good fun day and we're going to take you guys along for the ride to see what we get up to. So first of all we got veggies and burgers with a um, small applewood cheddar, red onion chutney on a sourdough bun, sliders with pigeon breast, grilled halloumi cheese, crispy black pudding, cooked wild duck and pheasant, apple and coriander salsa with a handmade uh, triple cooked chip, and then we got a fillet of Scottish beef on a sourdough ciabatta with fresh caponata, brie, and then rocket salad. Fresh stuff, fresh local ingredients, makes the food the best. Always tasty, my friend. I've not had pigeon before. Pigeon's lovely, man. Really? Oh, so nice. When we grew up, we used to go out shooting pigeon, pheasant, deer. There was deer at the back. We used to go up shooting there with Dad. We converted the shed where Dad used to hang the, hang the deer and stuff into uh, like a wheat. That's our first wheat lifting shot, right. I suppose it was. Um, but yeah, lifting deer. Lifting. <laughs> Put, put the deer in the dumbbell. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, What's your fingers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is nice. It's time for a break, guys. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh produces easy to follow along recipes for everybody. So the nights are getting a little bit colder, so our go-to meal today is the chipotle chicken, which has a little bit of spice, which will warm us up nice and cozy on the cold winter nights. Look, I'm hungry. I'm starving. This looks very tasty. Let's get to work. Let's get it done. Using our code BROTHERS60, you get 60% off your first box and 25% off the next two months. But that's not all. Free desserts for life with every HelloFresh box ordered between the 13th to the 30th of November. Cheers, Cheers. Mm, it's lovely. Mm. Delicious, delicious. Thanks, HelloFresh. Oh, that was really nice. <laughs> We're at the Bereavian churchyard. So if you look there, there's a coffin. And what they did back in the 1500s, if someone was naughty in the village, they would put them in that, put a stone over the coffin, so just the head is revealed, and then put that stone on top so they couldn't get out. So the objective is, Dad, all the strength games, a few different motions, you can break the floor, mm -hmm. get it to your knees, get it to your chest, get it to your shoulder, or press it overhead. So your challenge is to just break, break that off the floor, floor a centimetre. What the fourth can I feel it? You just gotta break it off a centimetre, that's it. No, 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 no. No. No? No chance. No, I think you should maybe go just to show us how it's done. <laughs> Hold my jacket. See the top one. I'll have to lift that one over there, don't you? Big surprise, don't worry. You're going to shoulder it or above the head or what? What the hell? What? I heard a crack then, what was that? Don't drop it, don't oh. drop it, don't drop it. Yeah, oh, nice. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Lovely. All right, my go. Oh. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, Tom made that look very easy, which is rather annoying. 
I have to get a kit on these days. I'm all, I'm all ret old and retired. I'm a bit older than you, Eddie. I'll <laughs> trip. <laughs> More than a belt, man. Jeez. on you now, Dad. Well, another go. You've got to break the floor with it. Mm. Oh, I don't okay, take his top off. I don't think <laughs> yeah. Top's off. Yeah. Oh, cheers. Just break the f***ing <laughs> truck. <laughs> Dead straight arms. Yeah. And you just want to, want to pick up your fingertips almost. Yeah. So, dead straight arms. You want to get right under it. I think it's back strength more than anything. Use your legs. Get the legs in as well. Straight arms, do not bend your arms. Oh, you almost got it. Come on. Oh, yes! Yeah! <laughs> Good job, yes! To think someone would lie in that. A big stone, so imagine like a coffin lid put on you and then that stone was put on top so you couldn't get out. That's quite... Basically like that, and everyone's spitting on you, and on you, and slapping you, and... <laughs> Can you imagine that in today's world? So you can press the one hand? You try. No, why don't you try? <laughs> to try. I'm not being no guinea pig for no one. <laughs> <laughs> you can bully you for once, you go in there. <laughs> I'm not building you, I go in there. <laughs> oh, so wet. That's a good point, that's a good defence mechanism though, back in the day. It's like, you're not going to get me in there, ah, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn into a fat git, so you can't get me in there, what now? Oh, yeah. Ha ha! Ha ha! That was pretty cool, gentlemen, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Thanks, thanks for bringing me up here. Well done, Dad. Oh, well done. Well, well, Good effort. Right. And this here we go, boys. It's a cowboy. Spear of whale. Our yeah. <laughs> Good so we are uh, in the middle of the Cromarty Firth. We are going fishing. This is a bit of water that I go swimming in most mornings. So to be out in the deep water is pretty cool. I'm, a, I'm an albatross. Albatrosses hate water. If it was on a tiny boat, I'd be f***ing myself. But a big boat like this, I'm fine, you know? I'll just uh, throw you guys all in first if I was fighting Mr. Harper tonight. Be the last guy to touch the. Uh, I'd stay on this boat until it was this big, yeah. But yeah, I feel fine. But this is cool. This is what Luke used to work on. I always like this. So yeah, it brings back some some memories, should we say. Um, hopefully, there will always be memories. I'll never, never have to work on them again because that would be pretty bad. Yeah, it's just nice being out here with Ed and the, the guys because it's. This is us, you know, this is our home. This is. This is what we are, this is the oil rigs, the cold water, the harsh conditions, what's kind of forged and found or made us into the people we are today. So it was really nice that it's taken this time and come up and kind of spent a bit of time with us, really cool. Look 
Do you feel it? Shout back. I eat it and then jump in the water and go. Ah. The mackerel. Right, stand aside the big man's <laughs> Two hours late. Oh, that's smelly. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Jesus. Get out. Jesus, I almost lost Ed. I would bet on Tom. Frustrating. Frustrating. You get like a woman's hair that's all naughty. That comes out in the shower, that's what that looks like. Yeah, the shower drain. Ah. Yeah. Jesus. Ah. We've been out here now for, for about 10 hours. I don't think it's about like, the number of fish we've caught. I think it's more about the, the memories that we are making. Is it 10 hours for the fish? Sweaty, aye. Um, obviously, this is coming to the end of the trip. A huge thank you, you know, to you and the family for coming up. And we had a couple of nice chats with what like family means to you, like why you stayed in Stoke as well. You know, we're very similar, Tom and I. We want to stay in Inverness and stay in the town. But you want to just tell us a little bit of an insight into that. Like, why is it you, know, you decided to stay in Stoke? Is it to be close to your family? To have some roots? I'm a big believer in community. Yeah. Like, obviously family, you know, schools, uh, and even simple things like going to your local shop and seeing the same clerk and yep. the petrol station and seeing the same people. And, you know, you see people on the school run that you just say hello to and you walk your dog and you see the same people. Yep. And that, to me, is really, really rooting. Yep. You know, it keeps me rooted. It keeps me sort of anchored of where I am from. And I am from Stoke. I was born, I, I think I live literally less than a mile from where I was born. Oh. Um, and I probably will live there for, you know, around Stoke till the day I die. Yeah. I think they say like 90% of people live and die within 10 miles of where they were born. Like you see, the community is so important. And I think the strongman, what you've done for the strongman community, let alone your own community, has been so huge and it's it's, it's amazing to have you up here. And Thank you, man. We were saying last night, like our town is so small, under Gordon, it's in the arse end of nowhere. <laughs> and the fact that we've had Eddie Hall come up and visit the town, it's pretty yeah, cool, it's, man. It's, it's been it's, cool for me. Yeah, it's, it's so cool, man. It's, and uh, yeah, I mean, all the things that you do, you know, the mental health aspect as well, is something that Tom and I try and replicate. And, and I know you're a big advocate of that, the mental health stuff. And, and, and you're smashing me, so just thank you from like Tom, Tom and myself, our family, uh, you've really helped us kind of transform our lives. I don't know if you know 
the huge impact that you've made in us, and I, and I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart. So thank you so much. Well, fa more than welcome if I have, but thank, thank you for being who you guys are as well. And you know, it's quite wholesome for me to come up and see how close you are to your family uh, and the community as well. I mean, yesterday we went for a swim on the beach and you stopped and said hello and asked how every single person on that beach was. You know, and you're stroking dogs and you're saying high-fiving kids and you're doing pictures for old women and and it's uh, it's, it's really wholesome to see that. Well, thank you, mate. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, again, thank you. We had a good day fishing. We caught a fish. Yeah. We caught a, a monster. Of we caught a whale. monster. Yeah. That's a strong man as well. And yeah, I can't wait until we see you again. And uh, yeah, thank you for everything. Thank you, appreciate mate. It, thank, thank you. you.